Hi, parents of Leos. Um, welcome to January 2019. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Um, all that good stuff. Hopefully um, you are enjoying your time with uh, your families. Be sure to watch the welcome video for uh, January. Uh, there's a special incentive for uh, you guys to be able to receive a um, yearly uh, overview for your Leo child. Um, your child has the bull energy in reverse. This is what it looks like in the upright. And it's still okay. It makes sense because uh, even though this is a Taurus, um, or this is the sign for Taurus, Leos are a fixed sign. So it's definitely a level of stubbornness going on here. Um, it's, go ahead and pause this so you can read the card in its entirety. Um, but it speaks of renewal, fertility, and growth in the upright. So I see definitely um, some stopping here, so like a halting, um, some stagnation, but definitely a fear, like just digging, digging their tracks. This is more helpful because you can't read upside down, <laughs> but digging in their tracks, you know, like, nope, not going to do that at all. Nope, I'm not doing that. So it's, it's some resistance for sure. Now, um, the, their vibration is the chocolate card in reverse. Uh, this card in the upright speaks in how decadent, lovely, lovely chocolate. Uh, it speaks of nourishing the body and soul. Um, but obviously, it's, 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 it's also saying to go deeper. It's, it's, uh, it's accessing, you know, your dark side to go inward and there's some there's a reason why your child doesn't want to be introspective this month for whatever reason i would suggest if you can you know make them if you know if you're into it make them a, a cup of hot cocoa with marshmallows at night help them to kind of calm down um or offer them chocolate sparingly, especially depending on the age, <laughs> and not close to bedtime, uh, unless you want to pay the consequences for that. Um, but just to help to coax them and nurture them into being more responsive to the energy going on this month. They, you know, it's kind of curious as I was reading this, and, and it, then it made more sense as I went. They have the uh, lapis uh, lazuli, um, which is blue, you know, um, it speaks of protection, power, and expansive thinking. Um, and their challenge is, and, and I don't remember if this was in the reverse. I don't, I don't think so. Um, but I get it that, you know, their challenge is letting go of a, a, a outmoded way of thinking or a system that no longer serves them. There's, it's definitely a growth, you know, um, that they're being asked a lesson um, that's being, being put upon them to learn that's uh, for their betterment. It's a growth. They're being asked to grow. They're being challenged to grow and do something new. And they're just not willing or ready or desiring to commit to that. They're like, dude, I, I don't want to do that. You know, I don't want to potty train right now. I don't want to do this. I don't, I don't want to, you know, whatever it is, there's a level of resistance. And that was I, as I was reading that, I'm like, oh, okay, this is the chocolate and the, the bull, and this makes sense now. There's fear. Uh, what are they fearing? And then lo and behold, you know, it was like, bam, you know, like this fear card was right there. I'm like, oh, yes, now this is starting to make more sense. So, I'm, you know, I'm looking at these cards. I'm like, you know, between these, there's, there's some fear. Wow. <laughs> So it, it's speaking of, uh, I realized that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Their growth is part of their love, their self-love, you know, not, and it's, it's, it's going to be better for them to walk in alignment with that instead of causing their own stagnation, which, um, is hurting themselves. They're, and they're not walking in that, that level of self-love. And that's very important. Something new is coming to them in January and it's just new and it's scary and that's all it is. And all they need is just some encouragement from you to just let them know it's okay. Have some chocolate. It'll be fine. Um, it's asking them to embrace love to, you know, love uh, or fear is just a, a, a guise. It's not real. 
um, you know, it's it's something up in something in their humanity that's showing up that's actually, you know, a blockage for them to go to the next level. Like it's 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 something fake that's a, it's a lie that's telling them not to move forward when they really should. Okay, so. Um, it says, when fear rears its ugly head, it is really an opportunity for you to stare it in the eye and turn that doubt into trust. And it made me think of the, you know, the Care Bear stare, you know. So, little Braveheart, what are you afraid of? Okay? You can do this. It's all in your imagination. It's not real. It, has, it hasn't happened yet. You know, take that step. Everything will come into place. There's a fear definitely of uniqueness. Like their their goal is, um, you know, they have the I am unique card in reverse. So there's a reluctancy to see the beauty that separates them from others. That's their challenge. That's their goal to work towards is getting them to accept that uniqueness that they have. Today I will appreciate everything that makes me me and celebrate the differences that make me one of a kind. That's the challenge. It's, it's something inward. I don't know if it's puberty, if it's it's something that's that's they're afraid of themselves. They it's like they're afraid of their own light and their own beauty and they're afraid of jumping into something because it's going to put them in front of other people, which is really weird because you think that Leos would like that. But for some reason, it's a level of attention that they don't want drawn because it's probably deep and internal, okay? I'm saying okay a lot because um, I just, I'm walking in my empathy from my December's reading. <laughs> Not on purpose, but I just, I find myself wanting to be um, more empathetic and hoping that others are understanding um, what I'm saying. Um, so in the first week of January, they have the unfinished sympath sim not sympathy, symphony card. Um, it's unfinished business. It's an incomplete lesson. It's a lack of closure. Definitely some work, some inner work that needs to be done. Um, it's time for them in the beginning of the year to tie up loose ends. Um, you know, make things right. I don't know if it's pertaining to them. Um, you know, for, for older ones, it could be a relationship. You know, it's a fear. Maybe it, if they're an adult or if they're a, a, in their, well, that's an adult. They're in their 20s, but teenager or something, maybe it has to do with a relationship um, that's caused them to be more introspective about themselves. I don't know. Um, that's a possibility, but there's some loose ends that they need to tie up with themselves, with others. In the second week, they have the Soulmates card in reverse. This is my favorite card. I love em uh, Emperor Penguins. I love the sound that they make, um, and this speaks to me personally. Um, it says, an important relationship brings you to your knees. Um, this is the kind of soulmate that comes with a powerful gift. Your patterns and your old stories that your patterns and all your old stories that don't serve you well. So, oh my gosh, serve your well-being, enter into this dynamic so you can heal them. So there's a person brought into their life to, to help them heal. And, you know, this this talks about, you know, letting go of, of something that doesn't serve you. Um, the fear card definitely was talking about letting go of something that doesn't serve you. Um, this is asking them, let me just show you. Okay, this says, I'm, I'm being extra here as the people say. Letting go, it no longer serves you. Confirmation. Here's another one. Letting go. Something that does not serve your well-being. It doesn't serve you. So they need to serve themselves. Your child needs to serve themselves, okay? This card doesn't... The fear card doesn't specifically say 
letting go. Um, but fear doesn't serve you. Definitely doesn't serve you. So it's, it's about your child um, opening themselves up to, you know, what, what needs to come to them. They have, in the third week, happy, happy. Joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. Your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now. So I get that there is a turnaround towards the latter part. And I don't think that, I, I think this card more so means that they're gaining a level of clarity and understanding that they need. Okay. So it's not that the fear is gone. It's not that they have the answer, but they have the understanding that they, that is necessary in order for them to move forward. And I say that because, um, they have the time to go card and it says, um, they have the, it's in reverse. This is what it looks like in the upright. And it says, even if it appears that you've reached the end of a line and I have to turn the page, and all is lost. Um, you're in a situation that will resurface again later. So consider this a break rather than an ending. Destiny is in charge here. You lose nothing and gain everything when you surrender to that fact. Your soul knows that your destiny is unfolding with perfect timing and synchronicity. Your small self has doubts, but your natural but that is natural, and it doesn't have to map it doesn't have the map of your destiny. The soul does. Spirit loves you, and to trust that. Relationships could be a scenario here. You know, something is unfinished. A relationship brings them to their knees. And it could be just a relationship break. That is what I see as one scenario. Um, it could be with school, you know, struggling in school to get good grades. Their teacher frustrates them. Um, they get a level of understanding and even though they're going to have to spend some extra time um even though even though they may not get it it's okay they're going to get it eventually does that make sense so however these apply to you there's something that's unfinished there's a relationship that is teaching them something there's joy and contentment and fulfillment and there's something that's just more of a break it's not over yet it's just a pause okay taking a break you know it's going to resurface back again not all is lost it's going to come back to them so if they did lose something they will get it back okay um as far as what is changing they have the support card in reverse so Let's put it in focus so you can actually see it while I'm reaching for books and stuff. That's what it looks like in the upright. And they, again, yes, that makes perfect sense now. Um, they're afraid to reach out and ask for help. I see that. Um... You know, pride is definitely at play here. Um, and they may have to ask for help. They may have to break down and say, you know what, I need help. And that's exactly what it is. Because the next card they have in reverse, it says, open your arms to receiving. You've prayed for help. Now be open to accepting it. Um, it, it models the card right before it. There's a resistance again to receiving the help. This is going to be in their best interest too. They may be reluctant to receive the help, but that's the answer is for them to receive the help. It's like detrimental, like it's to their detriment not to receive the help. That's what this position is telling me. So it's very important for them to be receptive to the help. Um, you, how you can help them is mindfulness. You know your child. You know their needs. You know what they're dealing with. 
um, you know, manage your mind, manage your thoughts, help them manage their mind and their thoughts. When we direct our thoughts and words towards the outcome we most desire, we ignite grace. Be patient with them. Be mindful. Think, does this serve their, their, their long-term goal, their end goal? Will these words help them right now or will they hinder them? So just being mindful about your actions and your intentions will serve them in this journey this month, okay? And finally, look at you, you badass. <laughs> Man and woman. Um, so excited for you. Look at you, you're doing stuff. You like Michael Jackson moonwalk getting it, you know? It's just you're forging your own destiny and your own path. This card speaks of direction, purpose, objectives, taking the first step. You're like, I want that. Um, it's you, you are, you're just, you're focused. You're doing what you need to do to ready yourself. You are preparing for your next and your your biggest and your greatest endeavor. You want that. I mean, look at this woman is like, she's not even, she can't even see. She doesn't need to see. But she knows exactly where she's going. She doesn't need sight. It's so ingrained in her where she's going. She's pointing her due north. That's so important for you this month, especially parents of Leos, follow your North Star. All these globes, she's making decisions, being determined, following her destiny in this card. But dads too, you are tired of stagnation and you're saying enough is enough. I want more. I'm moving forward with my career. I'm moving forward with my life. I'm making better choices for my family. And it's paying off. It's going to pay off because you have the I am beyond grateful card. Go ahead and pause so you can read that. But you are, because you are appreciative of the blessings that you have already received, get this, more is coming to you. Now, I know probably somebody just took off their headphones and like pushed their chair back and clapped their hands in the air. Because that's what I would do. I'm like, yes, thank you. So it's, it's a wonderful message for you coming in for the new year of 2019. You've done the work. Jupiter is in Sagittarius. It's a good, bountiful year for many people. And because you are a sister fire sign or... You're the parent of the child. This is a message for you. Um, good, good stuff is coming to you, okay? Blessings to you. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, liking, subscribing. Make sure that you comment so that you can get in our, our monthly contest for January. Um, and also watch January's welcome video. Thank you so much again for watching. I love you guys so much. Have a great Christmas and New Year.